Hey yo, what's up guys, today we are going to do the Tribe 21 club Well, after I saw some people saying oh the club is hard and all that I was like, let me give it a shot and see how it is For two reasons, first of all, cause why not And second of all, so I can give you all a tune So you all know what card to pick for it One thing for this club that you have to keep that in mind Is that it asks you for a thousand rating on your car, yeah? So you have to be very careful with what car you are choosing uh, Some cars, they just like can't reach a thousand some are easily passing it, some are going nearly 2000. So you have to choose the right car. In this case, in my opinion, get the RX7. It's so easy to get the ranking in this car. Like it easily gets over 1500. So you shouldn't have any problem with the rating. Also about the tunes, I will leave them at the end of the video. As you can see, there are some highlights in the background. The races were actually not long enough. Some of them were like actually quite short. Like the whole club with the tuning. Like I started my record, tuned my car, and I saw the the whole record was like 26 minutes which is quite short um i was expecting this to take me longer at least like i was expecting some more competition inside it maybe some ais i don't know why carx doesn't add ais bro we should at least have like a first run like you could have done like your first lap and like the second lap you should have get tandem points with yourself like with your ghost replay if that makes sense for you so in my opinion carx you should do something like that dude for these races you have to make it more difficult the only way to make it more difficult and fun at the same time is to make it in a way that the player have to do tandems to finish the dang race okay so we need npcs we need some sort of i don't know bro even at the clubs we need online tandeming competitions in the map i bet a lot of players are willing to see that so that's one thing that karik should have done in my opinion this was a piece of cake it was too easy Easy. like i just won all of them in first try and i kind of feel like it wasn't an enough of a challenge and also the way that it gives you points is a little stupid like it doesn't give you points if you keep a clean drift for a long way yeah or it doesn't give you points for being a smooth or anything so basically if you want to get the easy points you need to go as wide as the roads allows you and you need to get a max angle what i mean by max angle is you know the point that you feel like the car is just about to spin out but you just hold it there that's the point that gives you the most points so you want to be in that point in every turn you know what i'm talking about you have to keep that highest angle as you can and if you spawn out done just restart if you spawn out literally restart because you need a combo you know when you're getting more scores to give you a combo 1x 2x 3x go to 5x you need that so you need a consistent non-stop drift through the whole track but say this is quite easy i think you all are capable of doing it and uh, yeah hope you all enjoy and let me know what you think about my rides and like also let me know what was your favorite part if you're new here the link for my instant discord server is in the description and also a like and sub would be appreciated man thank you all for watching see you next time peace See